Iris and Walter the sleepover. Chapter 1 Big Plans Iris couldn't wait for Saturday. On Saturday, Iris was going to sleep over at her best friend Walter's house. It was all she could talk about. It will be my first sleepover, Grandpa, said Iris. How exciting, said Grandpa. Walter and I are going to put on a puppet show, Iris told her mother. What fun, said Iris's mother. And we are going to ride rain in our pajamas, Iris told her father. You don't say, said Iris's father. And we are going to sleep out on Walter's porch and stay up very, very late, Iris told Baby Rose. Very, very late, Iris told Baby Rose. That's what big kids do on sleepovers, Rosie. Okay, my big girl, hop into bed, said Iris's mother. Iris's mother read a story. Grandpa sang the girls a song. Iris's father tucked them in. Good night, little Rosie, he said. Good night, my Iris, he said. Then Iris's mother turned on the night light and closed the door. Chapter 2 Worries. The next day at school, Ira told her friends about the sleepover. Sleepovers are fun, said Armando. You can stay up all night, said Lulu, and have pillow fights, said Jenny. Wow, said Iris and Walter. Benny didn't say a word. But after lunch, Benny whispered, I don't like sleepovers. You don't? asked Iris. No, I like to sleep in my own room, in my own bed, said Benny. One time, I went to sleep over at my cousin's house. But, but what? asked Iris. I got really homesick, said Benny. Why? asked Iris. Because, said Benny, I missed my pillow. What did you do? asked Iris. My aunt had to take me home. In the middle of the night, he answered. Oh, said Iris. I hope that doesn't happen to me, she thought. Chapter 3 The Sleepover Saturday afternoon, Iris packed her suitcase. She packed her cozy pajamas. She packed her favorite jewel pearl. And she packed her baby pillow. So she wouldn't get homesick. Baby Rose watched from the creep. Now, Rosie, said Iris, I'm not going to be here tonight because I'm sleeping over at Walter's. Remember? Baby Rose gave Iris a big smile. But... Mama will still read the story, and Grandpa will sing a song, and Daddy will tuck you in. And when you're a big girl, you'll go 
on a sleepover too. Baby Rose said, "Ba ba ba." Okay, I'm ready to go to Walters," said Iris. "Have fun, my Iris," said Iris's mother. We'll see you tomorrow," said Iris's father. "So long, everybody," said Iris. Grandpa and Iris drove over to Walters. "Come in, Iris," said Walters's father. "Would you like some cookies?" asked Walters's mother. "Let's go play," said Walter. Iris and Walter put on a puppet show. They rode rain in their pajamas. They sat on the porch and watched the stars come out. I think sleepovers are great," said Iris. "I'm not homesick at all." We should have a sleepover every week," said Walter. Iris and Walter drank hot cocoa and shared the last cookie. Then Walter's mother said, "It's getting late, kids. Time for bed." Iris thought about home. She wondered if Baby Rose was still awake. And if Rosie missed her, Walter's mother kissed Walter good night. Then she kissed Iris. Good night, sleep tight," said Walter's father. "I am not sleepy. Are you?" asked Iris. "No," said Walter, yawning. "Let's stay up all night." Said Iris, "What do you want to do?" asked Walter. "Let's tell stories," said Iris. "Okay," said Walter. "You go first. I'll just get comfortable." Walter snuggled down into his sleeping bag. He warm. He was warm and cozy. Iris told Walter a long, long, long story. When she was finished, she said, "Now it's your turn, Walter, Walter." But there was no sound. Walter whispered, "Iris, it's your turn to tell a story." But Walter was fast asleep. Chapter Four: Home Sweet Home. It was very quiet on the porch. Iris hugged Pearl close. She tried to get comfortable. Suddenly, Iris felt all alone. She missed her mother's stories. She missed Grandpa's songs. She missed the way her father tucked her in, and kissed her good night. And she missed sleeping in her own room, in her own bed, with her own baby sister close by. Walter, Iris whispered in the dark. Walter, wake up! Iris gave Walter a little shake. Huh? said Walter. Walter said Iris. I think I want to go home. You do? Walter asked. Why? I am homesick, said Iris, and she started to cry. And she started. Uh, Gosh, said Walter. He went to get his mother. Iris, honey, are you sure you want to go home? Asked Walter's mother. Yes, I am sure," said Iris. "It's okay. We'll take you home," said Walter's mother. "You can sleep over another time, right, Walter?" "Sure," said Walter. 
Iris packed her suitcase and climbed into the car. We are going home now, Pearl. She whispered. The drive seemed to take forever, but when she arrived, everyone was waiting. Welcome home," said Iris's father. "How about a hug?" asked Iris's mother. "Why, Iris, you've grown," said Grandpa. Iris laughed and hugged them all. Then she went into her own room and climbed into her own bed. Her own baby Rose was fast asleep close by. Iris's mother kissed Iris good night. I'll sleep over at Walter's another time," said Iris, yawning. "Of course you will," said her mother, and she did. The end.